ही केम टू एस एम एंड ही स्टार्टेड एड्रेसिंग मी एज ये लड़की एंड वी मेट वी एक्सचेंज प्रेजेंट्रीज एंड देन ही टोल्ड मी अरे तुम क्या मैं क्या क्या पी के मैसेज करता है क्या दारू पीता है तुम वॉटका या टकीला सो द इफ समबडी इज गोइंग टू टेल मी दैट आई एम आई एम विलिंग टू शो द मैसेज इन पब्लिक दैट एन ए आई सी सी जनरल सेक्रेटरी हैज एक्नोलेज द फैक्ट दैट श्रीनिवास हैज़ बीन कंटिन्यूसली हेरासिंग मी honestly you know the funny part i was when i was in bangalore for the national executive nobody actually you knows shrinivas even the auto wala does not know who shrinivas that i am the only only youth congress president in the entire country who went ahead and blackened the poster of a chief minister so right now i am joined by youth congress president assam youth congress president ankita datta today she has made several tweet against shrinivasan uh indian youth uh, congress president so ankita i would like to ask you that you have made a uh, allegation against renovation that harassment has been made so what kind of harassment he has made see it's for the past 6 months that uh, all india youth congress president bv shrinivas has been uh, mentally harassing me and humiliating me leaving no chances of humiliating me Uh, it all began uh, when uh, uh, he suddenly decided to announce the youth congress election in assam uh, i was it was not even a year that i was given charge i was elected as the first vice president and when the president left the party and went to bjp i was appointed as a full time president my order nowhere in my order it was written that i was a acting president or an interim president uh uh what uh, you are saying that he is made uh making some mental harassment uh to you right do you have any proof to support your allegations see uh he has engaged an iyc secretary vardhan yadav uh, in assam through him he has been continuously humiliating me Vardhan Yadav has a history of corruption against him. He was involved in the Ramjas admission case in Delhi University, and he was in Tihar Jail. And I don't understand how can a person like that become IYC secretary. He came to Assam and he started addressing me as "ye ladki." Is ladki ko samjhao ki ye kaisi ladki hai? So when he started talking like that. i was very offended and i informed my leadership that this person is addressing me uh, like that and shrinivas didn't do it and it was all verbal accusation verbal and we were in the conference room of all india uh, youth congress and all shrinivas did was he was just shaking his head and not doing anything about it right and after that i went up to him i told him nothing happened gone case okay upay nahi what can i do then after that i had gone to raipur for uh, the uh, plenary session mm. so uh, in the mayfair hotel i was entering and shrinivas ji was coming out and we met we exchanged pleasantries and then he he told me are tum kya me kya kya pee ke message karta hai kya daru peeta hai tum uh, vodka ya tequila i was in utter shock i was trembling that how can a all india president talk to a female president like that i was shaken and immediately i reported it to iyc leadership and aicc general secretaries as well that this person has talked to me like this then they said you all don't worry you keep quiet you do your work fine then last week uh they did a uh, no after that they invited me to bangalore to attend the national executive while i was in bangalore i was not aware whether i was the youth congress president or whether i was a self uh, special invitee then they gave my i card where it was written dr ankita datta president assam then i realized so while sitting in the meeting in the assam official group vardhan yadav sent a message that uh, those who want to work in the karnataka election should only uh, write to me or ajaz khan so completely leaving my existence out of it so repeatedly my presence in the organization my presence as the president my presence in the decision making was completely sidelined 
and despite being uh, complaining about it to iyc leadership nothing was being done that is why he was getting this indulgence to write that message while we were in the meeting and i immediately stood up in the meeting and i said that why uh, why i read out the message ki why did he specifically mention that these two people and not not the president and and now that i'm reacting now that i'm questioning this am i drunk then i looked at shrinivas and i told him and i had did i have vodka you know because he said no that i react because because i'm a woman and i'm and i question and i raise a issue he thinks that if a woman ask a question or raises a issue she is probably a drunkard okay so you have mentioned that you have uh, uh, raised this issue in front of rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi uh what did you exactly approach each of them see and what did they say basically uh, when i went for the bharat joro yatra i met rahul ji and i told him that this has happened in assam youth congress without in without giving us any cause within a year the single female youth congress president of the state has been removed aur maine unko ye bhi bataya ki ek hamare districts mein aise ladke hai who are so poor that they live in kachha house one district president was doing the bharat joro yatra leaving his four month old son behind and without and he couldn't even reach home and have his lunch but he was thrown away as the district president at least have the audacity to inform us they didn't even inform us they removed us that is all i complained to rahul ji uske baad shrinivas started harassing me even more that how dare i go and tell rahul ji all that and now he sent any messages all like that no no absolutely not mm-hmm. he he didn't communicate at all with me uh, after that then in uh, karnataka again that issue happened then i said namaste hello and then i left then after that few days back again uh, in uh, there was a satyagraha in uh, guwahati regarding disqualification of rahul ji and uh i and i was in assam i was not informed i was not uh, brought into the plan and vardhan yadav sent a message that all those who contested come and uh, do a pro- satyagraha for rahul ji and it was a shameful day for me because that was the first protest after i took charge as president that only 35 people were present there and i informed the leadership look at the condition of youth congress now even during the baddest and worst days we could gather 300 people but shrinivas and vardhan yadav has done this lobby and only 35 people were present so you congress today should say that you were raising false allegations against uh, shrinivasan because you were removed as assam youth congress president so, so what did you say see i have been uh, if i'm raising false allegations i have been asking for an inquiry committee i have messages uh or with senior senior aicc general secretary where i have written what shrinivas has told to me and they have acknowledged it but i kept quiet for the sake of the party so the if somebody is going to tell me that i'm i'm willing to show the message in public that an aicc general secretary has acknowledged the fact that shrinivas has been continuously harassing me so they also alleged that you were in touch with bjp leader himantu bishwa sharma and you were raising all these allegation in the behest so that bjp can make it an election issue in the karnataka uh, who, which is the home state for shrinivas which is going for to the post next month uh, honestly you know the funny part i was when i was in bangalore for the national executive nobody actually knows shrinivas even the auto wala does not know who shrinivas the funny part is this to sh- making shrinivas an issue in uh, election mujhe lagta nahi hai usse kuch fayda hone wala hai aur dusri baat i yes i had gone to meet the chief minister of the state i am working on a project for mental health of young uh girls and adolescent girls and boys in rural assam which is extremely important and it's a government project that i'm working on and i'm and i have gone to the cmo office so it is not a personal work Ma- I, why am i doing youth congress to you know empower the youth so and since youth congress has given me so much free time so through my foundation i'm empowering the mental health of these young boys and girls so what is the problem but now they are running a propaganda i am seeing or, and believe me 
uh, all my youth congress friends and colleagues have sent me screenshots where vardhan yadav is making the poster of me and the honorable cm and talking about my cbi and ed cases and telling them to upload so shrinivas collects money through these youth congress elections and uses this money to troll you know troll people and make these po po posters okay so youth congress is now planning to take legal action against you so are you ready for it of course i welcome it i welcome it i am facing legal action by the bjp i am facing legal action by the cbi i am facing legal action by the ed so now when my own organization for whom i have given my blood and sweat is uh, taking legal action against me i welcome it in fact i'd like to say that i am the only only youth congress president in the entire country who went ahead and blackened the poster of a chief minister aur kisi ne nahi kara tha mujhme itna dam tha aur apne party ke liye kar rahi thi main मेरा पार्टी मेरा संगठन ही मेरे पे लीगल एक्शन लेना चाहते हैं मोस्ट वेलकम आई विल फाइट इट 